Hey guys, welcome back to Bombay TV. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Woman's Child Support Feels She Has a Messed Up. Guys, let's get straight into this. Oh my god, I'm officially divorced! Yes! Satan. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm officially primary custodian of the kids. What about the child support? That's it? Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? Financial burden with my children is on me? That's not fair. Oh, boo -hoo. Yeah, well, life's not fair. And welcome <laughs> to a man's world where you don't just get free money and you've actually got to get a job. You've got to suck it up and start sending off those job applications. There's too many women that get ridiculous sums of money and child support, and you know it's going in their pockets. It's meant to be child support, not ex wife support. And this woman actually got 4000 for two kids a month. $4,000 for two kids is plenty of money, but $4,000 for two kids and her, well, then you'd have to get a job. If you had 24 hours with me and I couldn't say no, what would we do? It's basically an eight hour arm workout, and it's made up of 16 mini workouts every half an hour throughout the day for eight hours straight. What's your age? So I'm 25 right now. Are you single? I am single. Why do you think that is? Because I want to be. <laughs> I have a couple of boyfriends. Say what? I hope they're not watching. Maybe like four or five. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm single. I am single. I mean, but well, what's it like dating five people at the same time? It's just like juggling. You have to be talented. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. There's different guys for different situations. Some guys, I just want to go to... <laughs> I forgot that I'm recording this. <laughs> Some guys, you just want to what? <laughs> There's different purposes for different tools. One's a shovel, one's a knife, one's a fork. Yeah. To all the men out there that are unknowingly sharing this donut, you will need to gather together like the Avengers and send it to the streets. There's some reasons why a guy may have stopped texting you. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. Whoa! I knew this. I knew this. Open up to a woman? Yeah. Never. No. Never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. He called. Clout's the new drag. If you tell these girls you got followers, then you're gonna get their attention. Wait until they find out though that this weren't even the real Drake and they were talking to Freak. Motivational videos for girls and guys are completely different because on the girl side, it sounds like you're the prize, you're the queen. Yes, queen, being your feminine area. And then men's motivational videos sound like this. You're weak. You gotta get off your ass. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no beat. You don't drive a Bentley. Yeah, the difference is men don't lie to themselves. You thought I was feeling you? I am, and I want to treat you like a king. What's up? I like this one. Question for men, would you date an OnlyFans girl? No. No. I was on a date with someone, and we're walking out of the bar, and this guy's like, Maddie? And then I hear, Maddie only friends girl? And I turn around, and I was like, hello? And he's like, are you Maddie? And I was like, yeah, in front of my date, in front of my date. Oh, well, you must be very proud of yourself. And he's like, oh, I knew you look familiar. And I was like, oh, it's nice to meet you. Bro, when we got back in the car, this man was like, tell me what he said word for word. Repeat it word for word. And I told him, he was like, say it again. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And he was so shook. I was like, yeah, be shook. You know, like this comment oh, says, weak man recognizing a weak woman. And that man on the date of a dodged a bullet, it's embarrassing that she's so proud of this as well, that a man recognized her on OnlyFans. And it's embarrassing that the simp admitted that he knew her. I ain't lying, you know my tape, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm dressed skin fatigue. <laughs> it doesn't matter! I swear to God, you know my tape. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, you drive Uber, that's all you do? Yeah, I drive Uber from the time the sun comes up to the time the sun comes down. That's a lot of driving. Yeah. So how much money do you make? Go ahead, go ahead. I make $48,000 a year. No. What's wrong with $48,000 a year driving Uber? It's not enough. Why isn't it enough? Because I just said you have to be able to take care of you and then also be able to provide the lifestyle I'm used to or more. That's less than what I make. You're not going to be able to do both. Yeah, your ass going to be at both partners. Excuse me, ma'am. Newsflash. 
how the fuck you want me to be your goddamn multi-millionaire and you ain't seen no multis or no millions from your goddamn ass. It's crawl, walk, run. Maybe I'm starting a delivery service. Maybe I'm starting a driver service. Maybe I'm starting my own business and I'm working for capital. Maybe I'm building an empire. Because goddamn it, sometimes the janitor ends up owning the building. How about you goddamn try to find a The fact that I work from sun up to sundown is not good enough for you? It's crazy. I'm willing to work sun up and sun down for you and it's not enough? But I probably did. I probably treated you better than your daddy treated you. But these types of women are complete muppets. They're shooting themselves in the foot. They want above average men who can provide for them financially when they're below average women themselves. The men they want to attract won't even look twice at them, which is why you've got so many of them that are single. Are you a feminist? I'm absolutely. The f I have blue hair. That's true. What are you fighting for? I'm fighting for just like making sure that every bad bitch out in the world knows exactly who the f they are. Only bad bitches? Every girl's a bad bitch. Every girl's a bad bitch. Yeah, as long as they let themselves be a bad bitch or a bad bitch. Keep telling yourself that, darling. We endure so much more than what men ever could. And we endure so much more than what men ever could. The pain that we have to endure, men are, they're pussies. That's crazy. She's just a blue haired feminist with very few brain cells. It's yeah. not her fault that she's like that. She doesn't seem like a bad person, just a complete donor. There's only one way it's going to end for her. They call her she's the cat lady. Dull, right? To the men who like watching sport, but not the female version of it. Maybe you don't actually like sport. Maybe you just like watching half naked men run around playing with balls. Yeah, she got us. That's exactly what it is. You really expose us with that one, you fucking lunatic. So are you like jealous if she goes out? Yes. So you're jealous? Yes. So that's a you problem. I'm sure. But she has nothing to be Wait. jealous of. It's, is it jealousy? The reality is I don't give any validation to any women and I come home to her at the end of the night and she's waiting in my bedroom. What if she's like, okay, well, I'm I'm set on you. I need to go out because I need to do my thing. I would not be with her. It's giving like Elvis Presley. Is that it? <laughs> Elvis Presley. Yeah, I have a question. So, Tell me now. Is it more so jealousy or insecurity? Like, are you worried about her? Or are you more so like, I I'm, am I'm the dominant just, one I'm, and I no, need to take just, care no, of her? It's, honestly, it's not jealousy or insecurity. I'm just not interested. If she needs to go out, number one, like you all said, why? And number two, what the f For what? What are you, as a woman, gonna do at a party? Get hit on by a bunch of men who are single. Okay, but, to but say like it's like one of her best friend's like birthday. It's happened. Her, and it's happened. And I got up, I said, honestly, or where, are you gonna, where are you gonna end up? Like, I get it. You go to dinner, go have your dinner party. But then the girls wanna go to the club after? F no. Go to dinner, come back to me. Me personally, I'm not even bothered at all if she goes out and has a drink with her friends. It's not going to make me jealous because she knows and I know that if she does anything wrong, then it's done. And a man that actually respects himself is going to avoid the type of yeah. woman that goes out drinking with random men all the time. Girls night out at the club. Oh, shit. Are you oh kidding me? God, here we go. This Emma, go. you've got the toxic flag going? Let's because swing it to Emma I'm first. going to the most worst scenario. Let me tell you this. When I go out with my girls and a guy tries to hit on me, I do this move. It's called the now, X. Now, I and will expand me, on that yeah. because well, why, I do the same thing. why can't yeah. girls' nights be movies in, uh, wine nights in? But why does it why only it have It can to be, be a that? dinner out and then some cocktails. Why does it have to be in a club where majority of your it friends doesn't. may be single? Right. It doesn't. Again, it's attention. I, I work in the bar industry. I see girls' nights out versus men's nights out. Yeah, but I'll tell you. And I will say yeah, the yeah. girls' nights out, those groups are always hopping dude to dude to get their drinks paid for. And I don't consider us in my decision that I like, see. Like, we can buy our because own we are drinks. Because we, we are, are an exception to, to the rule. Yeah, right. I agree with that one. Do women use guys for free drinks when they're at the club in the bar? I definitely. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. If you, yeah. If you ugly especially, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> if you ugly, baby. Use for you, but the dream. You know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. Guys, like it's, I, I love his videos. Like I love the fact that he compiles like amazing videos and like, but seriously, it's annoying. Like you see, I, I don't know why girls are cool calling themselves bitches, though. But I feel girls so so treated like queens. And to be honest, like if you meet a guy that actually love and respect you, like I, I would say this, I feel women are losing their respect based on the fact that. They want to claim equal with men. Like you not, you you're supposed to be treated like a queen that you are. But like you are not supposed to do some certain things. That's why people say men are stupid. So you're doing the same stupid thing that some men do. Like it's, it's there's no use for you anymore. And I, I feel women should discover this fast. Like you, you really you you are supposed to know that you are you have what and Yes, you are the prize, and we're supposed to come and meet you. So, 
you okay like this in first century gen z women like the way they're moving like you being 18 19 and you feel going to the club is all the matters from the friday night is actually fucked up because like to be honest like there are a lot of things we need to do other than club sex like it's it's fucked up you being a woman i don't feel those supposed to be your priorities to be honest but who am i to say guys if you like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys